You know, the number one threat we got we have going right now is fishing and spear fishing. Doing social reconnaissance, trying to figure out who does wire transfers at a bank or who does payroll at a large company through social media and figuring that out and then launching a very specific attack to that person. It's really defeating the person on the other end of the phone or the other end of the line, somehow tricking them. So it's not that they shouldn't be using technology, it's just how do you become informed and then how do you layer in people, process, and technology controls to keep your business safe. You know, we all know that ransomware is the hot thing right now. And ransomware is malicious software that demands a ransom. It delivers a payload of not keystroke logging or not stealing the data, but of threatening. Here's some statistics for you. 38% of folks pay the ransom. 38% of you pay the ransom. So the business model behind ransomware is really compelling. Data breaches are just a reality, and it's not just data breaches. Intellectual property theft, right, is a real concern. I mean, there's major breaches with foreign countries in particular that want all those engineering schematics, want all those strategic plans and all of that kind of stuff. You know, it really starts with risk management. If your risk is phishing or if your risk is clickjacking or if your risk is physical or if your risk is, it really depends on what locations represent the most risk, um, what assets represent the most risk, what people represent the most risk to you. Really security, cybersecurity is really a risk management process. Right. What do we need to do on the technology side maybe to audit that to, to make sure that the, the risk assessment is proper there? Doing basic cybersecurity hygiene is really what you need. So we're talking about do you have a firewall? Do you have antivirus? Are your systems patched? Are you running effective backups? It's having the right incident response capability. If this happens, what are we going to do? Are we going to unplug things? Are we going to pay it? You know, who's all going to get involved? Are we going to notify customers? I mean, all that stuff is, is needs to be documented and practiced into an instant response plan of, as part of your disaster right. recovery capability. We tell people today that those tools are absolutely non-negotiable, but they're also not enough anymore. We're, we're layering even more security products on top to make sure that if someone does get infected, that it limits it to the extent that we can to that person and doesn't crawl the rest of the network. Right. So we're trying to deploy as many tool sets as we can because right. the crooks are pretty smart, aren't they? Right. They sure are.